What this makes the signal slow down or delay when traveling through the atmosphere is what we call the atmospheric effects or delays. In Genesis, it's very, very important to know, to have a knowledge on the ionosphere in order to see which is the impact of this ionosphere on the receiver. The ionosphere, it's a region in the atmosphere full of what we call electrons, right? ionization level. And this ionization level in this region, it depends on the interaction between the solar activity and also the Earth geomagnetic field. Typically, uh, the signals, when are going through the ionosphere, are getting delayed. But the phase of the signals, the phases of the signals are advanced. Instead of delay, we are advancing the signals. Let's say that you have a receiver here and you have a satellite here. If I plot you the profile of ionosphere between the receiver and the satellite, this is something like this. This is the total electron content density. Then we have electrons from zero to the satellite. Electrons everywhere. But what we call a ionosphere usually are the layer between 50 kilometers and 1000 kilometers, where we have the most electron content, 50 kilometers and 1000 kilometers. And we have usually a peak, which is the F2 layer, around, let's say, 350, 400 kilometers. Then at, in this layer, we have a lot of electron content. One of the per particularities of the signals while traveling from the satellite to the user is that they are delayed then we have a, a, the speed of light is getting slower. But also the most important thing is that this delay, that the, when crossing this, depends on the frequency by one divided by the frequency squared. This ionosphere delay depends on the frequency of the signal. This is very important. The ionospheric delay, if I call it I in meters, will be something like 40.3, 10 to 16, divided by frequency squared, multiplied by what we call the STEC, slang tel total electron content. This in tecus, in tech units. STEC means slant from the satellite to the user. The slant delay, slant delay. Then this slant delay in tecus multiplied by this will give me something in meters. And this in L1, this is something like 0 0.1624 meters. It means that each tecu of delay, we have 16 centimeters of delay in meters. Then this delay depends on the frequency for a frequency of L1, which is 15, 75, 42 megahertz. If we make this computation, 0 0.1624 meters. It means that one teku, one teku unit is 16 centimeters. Usually the order of magnitude you can, you can keep in mind is that this ionospheric delay can go from two meters to 30 meters depending on where we are, the day, the year, the, the solar flux, the geomagnetic field, and this kind of things can go from two meters to 30 meters of delay. I will add here in my equation, the delay coming from the ionosphere. That is a something depending on the satellite and the receiver. In my equation, when the receiver is estimating this pseudo distance, this ionospheric delay have to be also taken into account.